a German hero, the Carpenter Elsner versus the Führer Hitler, or the 13 minutes that could change the bloody history. Many consider November the 9th to be a fateful date for Germany. But it was 13 minutes on November the 8th of 1939 that really changed the course of the 20th century history. A carpenter from southern Germany, Johann Georg Elsa, almost managed to assassinate Hitler before World War II had engulfed the continent and the world. For decades after the war, though, he remained largely forgotten. In 2009, the city of Munich inaugurated an unusual kind of monument to commemorate this heroic attempt. An artistic work, entitled 8th November 1939, was formally presented in Turkenstrasse on October 27, 2009, in the street where Elza was renting a hotel room. This has put a trembling end to a years-long citizen struggle to commemorate Mr. Elza. Elzer's plot, a bomb explosion in a hall where Hitler was giving a speech, is widely considered one of the most important of the many attempts to stop the Nazi movement and the Second World War. Ich habe den Krieg verändert. Is it always there already or is it new? Yeah, I read, I read, actually I read when we were coming, November, and uh -huh. I was like, November. I, I never recognized it because it's I mean, like at the wall and it's not like in the, in the middle of the place or something. Either you should like make signals to show the people they pass around and then there's like the sign to, to show. Mm -hmm. like. It was a professor. Kurt, Kurt Eisner. Yeah. I'm a hero against the national socialism. I uh, did some re uh, resistance in the... Uh, during the Nazi time in Germany. <laughs> to stand up against nationalism is always the right thing to do. Gewiss das Attentat im Bürgerbüro Keller auf Adolf Hitler. Äh, leider äh, hat äh, Adolf Hitler äh, ein paar Minuten vor dem äh, Bombenexplosion äh, die Bürgerbüro äh, Bürger Keller verlassen und somit ist er diesem äh, Attentat, es ist kein Attentat, sondern es ist eine Heldentat äh, entgangen. I never thought that this is like electronic. I always thought it's um, like um, like this. I never realized it's made of, of plastic. And I think it's a bit complicated to understand. I think just from walking by, nobody will ever have a clue what this is. It can, it could be anything. It could even be commercial advertisement for something. 21 sat i 20 minuta se to pali. Onda se može jednu pola minute gori i onda se ugasi, pa onda se opet upali, pa se opet ugasi. Tako ide jedno tri, četiri minute. Would like to see it at night. Think it's more impressive. The Germans uh, think that is good when you have things to remember what has happened, uh, then they don't do the same mistake again. Yeah, maybe because it's written in a circle, so that you should never forget it, and it's 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 a date written down. So like to to remember the, the date, what happened there, and to remember the name, and you you know that bad bad things happened, and it's just maybe a statement. So you put the name for a place, so that, I don't know, I think it's not in a bad meaning, it should be good. I think it's good that someone did something. Uh, maybe I would have done it in another way, but that's not important. Somebody, w it was important to set a sign about the, uh, the happening. Mm -hmm. As everything concerning National Socialism in Munich, it's very late, of course. Yeah. For example, when I'm in Berlin and stuff like that, there are a lot of monuments and it feels like kind of nice to me because I feel, oh, like they don't forget or they don't ignore it and people are aware of it. And here it's like you don't really feel it. Um, even on the really important places or critical places where things bad things happen, there is not really any sign or clear sign about that.
I don't know. Is it is it for for the killed people the monument, or is it for for Georg Elsa? Da wurden keine äh, äh, Familienmitglieder äh, umgebracht. Es wurden nur äh, die verletzt worden sind oder auch eventuell getötet worden. Nur so, äh, Nationalsozialisten äh, getötet. Und was ich finde, ein Denkmal, das an so jemand Besonderen erinnert, das sollte Hirn und Herz erfassen, beides. <lacht>